Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be speaking with you about how I stopped losing my keys. Seriously. And I'm going to talk about why this matters and give you a helpful tip on basically making sure that you don't misplace your billfold, don't misplace your phone, and you can find your keys when you're looking for them. How did I stop losing my keys? And I think I've got them right here. This, um, I'll tell you the story and why this matters. The other day, we're doing moving things around here in the office and I misplaced my keys. And what happened is it ruined my afternoon. I wasn't able to go pick up my wife uh, and, and the kids at the park. Uh, she actually had to uh, walk home. It was just, it really frustrated me that I, I, maybe I'm getting older and I'm losing my mind, but I could not find these things for the life of me for 30 minutes. When I did find them, I found it had ruined my afternoon. And that's the number one reason why this tip is going to be important to you. Because when we misplace things, we cause unnecessary stress. And it's these little stressors in our life which really take away from the quality of our life and studies have shown they actually shorten our life. So you can be losing years caused by these little stressors which are, you know, they, they again, it's something that shouldn't affect us, but it does. The other thing is it costs you time. Every time you're looking for something or you're, you've misplaced something, that is costing you a bit of time that you can never recover. So I've talked about why this matters. What's the fix? Okay. So it is actually very simple. Everything should have its place. What do I mean by that? I mean that you should have a catch-all that you should have a valet, you should have a bolt, you should have a place where your keys, where your phone, where your billfold, where it goes every night, every time perhaps you walk in the office. I know I've got an area, I've got this little catch-all now that I can drop my keys into, I can drop my phone into. Uh, I usually don't take my wallet out of my uh, pocket whenever I'm in my office, but when I'm at home, I have a basically a little valet that sits on top of my nightstand and my phone goes there my wallet goes there. Uh, my keys, actually, we've got down, when you enter the house, we actually have a little key hook. When you enter the house, we hang the van keys, we hang the uh, the truck keys. They all go right there. And we have, behind them, we actually have the backup set. The beautiful thing about this is even if, and, and it's funny, I'll, I'll see like my wife doesn't put her keys there. I try not to remind her. I know she's got other places where she leaves them. But even if we can't find those, we've actually got the backup there. And that, you know, comes in handy. The point is, is everything should have its place. This doesn't just apply, by the way, to your keys, to your phone, or to your billfold. This applies to your garage and your tools. This applies to things throughout the office. If you are finding that you're misplacing something again and again, designate a place for it. I've seen people that have taken their garage and with their tools and they've actually created, and this is something that I saw in large manufacturing companies as well, is that they would actually outline the tool and where it went. And it seems like it's being overly organized, but I can tell you that by knowing where things go, putting them back and having that system in place, you're going to save yourself time, you're going to save yourself frustration, and you're going to be more effective and you're going to get more done. So guys, stop losing your keys, stop misplacing your billfold, and uh, now I've got to figure out how to make sure my wife charges her phone all the time. And that will probably be the topic for another video at some other time. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.